I've got a notebook. Get. <gasps> I'm finding you quite aggressive now, actually, to yeah. be honest. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today, I think this is quite possibly the most excited I've ever been to film a video. I am like, gagged. I'm, I'm gagged. gagged. It's, I can't even talk. I can't even breathe. I am unboxing my first ever fairy loot box or just my first ever book box in general. I've never had a book box before and here we are. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. So this is the August fairy loot box. I have wanted to get a fairy loot box for so long, but your girl is a student and students ain't reach. Fairy loot very kindly reached out to me and asked if I wanted to become a rep for them. And so they're gonna be sending me the next three months of boxes and like, yo, I can't, I can't emphasize to you guys how excited I am. Like how crazy this is to me. This is the first time a company who I love already have reached out to me and wanted to work with me and it's just unbelievable. So I cannot, I, I literally cannot wait to get into this. I was supposed to be uploading a different video today but I was like, I need to just unbox this. I have been counting down the days for this to arrive. I've been like checking the post every day being like, today will be the day. And now it finally is. So I could not wait. I am so excited to get into this. I will link Fairy Loot down below if you want to look into their book box, but... Ah! Okay, here's the thing. I don't know why I'm pointing scissors at you. How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. I don't even have any bookish items. Like, I don't even have bookish mug. I don't have book sleeves. I don't have bookish candles. I have nothing. So this is gonna be like my first time bookish artwork. I have I have none of that. So I'm so excited to finally own stuff like that and get to put it on my shelves and get to own it. Like, this is literally a dream come true. Okay, so we've got a quote inside that says fairy tales are more than true not because they tell us that dragons exist but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten oh my gosh and then we've got <laughs> i'm really gonna like cry i'm actually gonna <sighs> what i've got <sighs> just looking oh my god at the <laughs> at the design oh my god i want to cry Oh, that's the spoiler bit. Okay, I don't want to look at that. But our theme is let the games begin. And this is our little announcement card. <sighs> one thing at a time, Megan, one thing at a time. All right, I'm just going to grab the first thing that I see, which is get the f*** out. Get the f*** out. Get the f*** out. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. Check out the labels. Me. <laughs> You don't know how long I've wanted a book sleeve. You don't know how long I've wanted a book sleeve. Oh my God. Okay, this is beautiful. We have a guy and a girl who look very powerful. I don't know who they are. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna look and try. Ember in the Ashes. This is by Mono Lime Art. I have not read an Ember in the Ashes, but I have been seeing a lot of people speak about it. I know that Mina has just reread the first one and I read, I think read the second one in the series for the first time. I do feel like it's a fantasy series I am gonna get into very soon, but this is such a what can I say? I'm a connoisseur for quality. <laughs> the quality of this is amazing. It's nicely padded, which is good for like journeys and stuff. And it is just gorgeous. Like this makes me want to read An Ember in the Ashes right now. What? How am I this blessed? How is, how is the, how is the heaven shining down on me like this right now? I'm just so lucky to be a part of this history. It's probably the most important day of my life. Golden egg bath bomb? Get out. A bath? Bomb. I love baths. I am about to go back up to uni in like two weeks, so I need to use this because when I'm at uni, I I don't have a bath. I only have a shower. So, oh my god, it smells so good. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god, that smells so good. That's like the scent I always go for when I get a bath bomb from like Lush or somewhere. Oof, dust just went everywhere. Mm. I kind of like the smell. Oh my god, that smells so good. Rumor has it that when you use the golden egg bath bomb in your bath, mer people sing out the clue of the second try wizarding task. This bath bomb was made with love by the amazing little heart gifts. Wow, okay, I cannot wait to, <laughs> to have a bath. 
I keep sniffing it and because there's all the gold dust on the edge, I keep going like, <laughs> That smells so good. I am truly blessed. That is amazing. I am constantly amazed. Wow, okay. Okay, what is this? What is this? Fairy loot exclusive metal backpack. Calm down. Calm down. Designed by Tara Ja. Get out. Get out. Oh my god. Okay, I can't wait to show you a close-up of this. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. So it's like this metal bookmark with this design on it. I think that's Nevernight. Is that Nevernight? I feel like that's... Oh, what's her name? I haven't read it, but I have the first two in the series. Yes. When you study ancient assassin tomes in the Red Church, make sure to use this black as night Mia and Mr. Kindly metal bookmark. Mia, that is it. It is designed by the talented Tara Ja and is inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I forgot there was a cat in Nevernight too. It makes me want to read it much more but this is amazing quality i love when a bookmark has some tassels like seeing that stick out of your book is so like cozy aesthetic pleasing to the eye makes you want to read wow i love how this feels oh my god this is such amazing quality like when you feel it i love the feel of these things that is so wonderful <gasps> i'm so happy <laughs> This is a story about a girl We've got some like, I think these are tarot cards. So they do tarot cards every month and these are inspired by Nevernight 2. It's designed by Catherine Brett. So we have Six of Swords and Five of Swords, which I believe are Mia and Mr. Kindly. This makes me want to read Nevernight even more. I think I am probably going to... Okay, I was about... <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I think I'm going to read Nevernight soon. I think I'm going to read Nevernight by the end of the year. That's soon for me. Like, within the next four months is soon. I think I'm going to read Nevernight in the next four months. Yeah, these are so cute. Wow. I love that they do something that, like, you can collect in every box and, like, build the collection up of. <gasps> I've got a notebook. Get I'm finding you quite aggressive now, actually, yeah. to be honest. I'll never say no to a notebook. I will never say no to a notebook. Okay, so this notebook is quite a thin one, which I like actually. Oh, it even has like a elasticy thing to keep it shut. Ah, oh, a woman after my own heart. This notebook is a woman, in case you're wondering. <laughs> it says, Monsters are only as real as the stories that grant them life, and they only live for as long as we tell those tales. Hunting Pr Prince Dracula, Kerry Maniscalco. Okay, so I have read. Here she is. I have read Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I think I gave it like three stars. I read it last Christmas. I thought I read it more recently, but it was definitely last Christmas that I read this. And I do want to read the rest of the series. I just haven't bought the next one yet, I, which I think is Hunting Prince Dracula, right? And then on the inside of the notebook, we have an illustration of Thomas Cresswell and what is her name? I've forgotten her name. My name is Kendall. Thomas Cresswell, I remember, because everyone's always going, oh my God, Thomas Cresswell. <laughs> Audrey Rose Wadsworth, that's it. That's the gal. But at least this is for a book I have read. And so, oh, this is really great quality. For the amount of stuff you get, the fact that you get a new release hardcover special edition and all these amazing things, like a book sleeve, a metal bookmark, a notebook, a bath bomb, like the quality, you're getting really usable, amazing stuff. So this is incredible to me. Need a safe place to write down your strategy to win? No worries, we got ya. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Fairy Lou. We present to you this stunning Prince Dracula hardcover notebook. The cover was designed by the talented No Vrentail and the inside features beautiful artwork by Tara Jar of characters from Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Meniscalco. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, we have other things. My current situation could be adequately described as suboptimal. This looks very spacey. Oh, I wonder what book this is. Display your loyalty to the spaceship's crew with the sassy. Sassy. <laughs> the Aurora Rising pin, which was designed by Iron Ink Designs and inspired by Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Okay, so that's so much fun. I really want to read Aurora Rising. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, many of you know, is one of my favourite series of all time. Like, ever. Ever to exist. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that is another one I want to get into very soon. But I'm kind of scared because I know a lot of people don't love it as much as Illuminae. And then I think we've got one more thing, which looks like a magnet. Oh, that's Scythe! Have you been selected for an apprenticeship to become a Scythe? Make sure to showcase it with the Scythe magnet. It's inspired by the book Scythe by Neil Schusterman and designed by our lovely Tara ja. We hope you will not have to compete for a spot like Sitra and Rowan did. Okay, lovely. I love to have a Scythe item. I have read the whole 
Where is it? Oh, it's kind of, it's hiding here. There's the first one. I've read the whole of the Scythe series and I had a mixed emotions with this series. I think I gave this like three or four star. I gave Thunderhead five stars and then I gave the Toll like 2.5 stars, 2.75. So it was an emotional journey. I'm very happy to have a Scythe magnet. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Oh, I've made a mess, oh no. <laughs> it is the book. I don't have any idea what this could be. I worked really hard not to get it spoiled for myself. Let's just see, shall we? I'm really excited. <gasps> There's so many things. <laughs> oh my God, get the, get out. Oh my God, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna, I, I actually, I, I need to take a moment to like take all this in before I speak to you. I'm actually gonna wee myself. The book for this month is Star Daughter by Shveta Tsaka. Don't you just wanna cry? Like, don't you actually see this and wanna cry? Don't you actually see this and wanna cry? Like, I wanna cry. Not only is the cover beautiful. We have gold, not even just gold, but like glittery gold spread edges. Oh my God, they, they really are like shaking. She's incredible, she's a beautiful person. Her talent and brilliance is beyond. Gold, glittery, sprayed edges. Tell me you're not obsessed. Like, tell me you're not obsessed. It is signed by the author on all of Fairy Loot's special editions. On the inside of the sleeve, there is artwork and like, I'm gonna collapse. No, I don't, I feel faint. I've struck gold ladies. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing? Her skin looks like incredible. I've never seen a drawing with like such incredible skin. Oh my God, I need to read this book right now. Oh my gosh. I think a lot of you would have heard about this. It is a really anticipated new release. I don't know too much about it, but I think it is about a young girl who has, who feels an affinity with the night sky and the stars. And her father gets injured by some kind of power that she realizes that she has. And so she has to ascend to the sky to like act in a competition. I think that's where the competition element is. I think the stars call her to be their kind of like representative in a competition. It sounds so good. And this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. The cover is beautiful. I have never seen sprayed edges look so gorgeous. Like the glitter on them is just making it glow. And then we've just got a little card here as well with some more artwork on it, which is just so gorgeous. Again, the skin on this is incredible. Is it by, I think it might be by BX Romance. That is who the art on the dust jacket is, the inside of the dust jacket. I think this is probably by the same person. I cannot wait to read this. This box, the amount of stuff I got in it is just mind boggling. Like, there is so much here. I really didn't think I'd get this many things. Wow, okay, I am so happy. So there we have it. That is my first unboxing of a book box ever. <laughs> Thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending this to me. Let me know down below if you have a Fairy Loot description or if you're thinking of getting one. It honestly, like, I am shocked at the amount of stuff I got and the quality of it is just incredible so i feel so lucky to have received this and thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video bye